Hello, my name is Anthony Perry, product specialist here at Flux Pumps USA. Today we're going to be introducing the new Visco Power Pump Line, which is the positive displacement pump that is going to be replacing the F550. So we're going to take a look at the complete pump assemblies as we have here, and then we'll break them down and have a look at the individual components, and we'll call out some of the individual improvements that have been made um, with the new design. So we'll start here. Um, this is an F550GS. This pump is a 5426, which is in reference to the tube diameter and the rotor. The GS indicates that it has a gearbox. The same pump configuration is also available in an S style, which would have a bearing flange. And this is the Visco Power F570 with an open mechanical seal for industrial applications. Also, this pump configuration is available with the bearing flange, which would be an F580. So we'll start at the top of the pumps here with the gearboxes. You can see here on the F550 that the gearbox housing is an anodized black um, carbon steel. And then in the Visco power line, the housing is stainless. Moving down to the tube connection. This is a threaded connection with this collar here. You just break it loose um, by hitting it with a rubber mallet. And the tube connection on the Visco power line is a uh, tri-clamp, so you break your clamp off and then the tube just slides down. Moving further down, you can see that the discharge is a smaller diameter than the pump tube. The discharge connection is a G one and a half, which is not a standard thread here in the US, so they would be coming with an inch and a half hose barb. On the Visco power line, we've standardized on a two inch tri-clamp and you can see here that the discharge diameter is the same diameter as the pump tube. There's no neck down, which allows for um, a more uh, free flow. It's not restricted um, with the neck down like the 550. Moving down to the tube itself, the um, F550s are available in a 5426 or a 5021 which the 54 is a 54 millimeter tube or 50 millimeter tube for the 5021. In the Visco power line, we've standardized on a 53 millimeter tube for all pumps. And um, the reason that you would have the two different diameters for the F550 series is that it gives you a little bit of variation with your flow rates. Whereas um, we would achieve that in the Visco power line by changing the rotor and stator geometries. Coming down to the stator housings, both of them are reverse thread um, onto the pump tube. You can see the connections here. And then at the base for the 550 series, it has this castle design here, which um, you can see there's just these thin tabs, which um, can bend if it's dropped um, from a height into a drum. <clears throat> and um, this would deform, putting excess pressure on the stator and would cause that to wear prematurely. You can see here on the Visco power line, um, we've beefed this up um, and also reinforced it um, 360 degrees, which is a much stronger, more robust design. All right, so now we'll take a look at the, a little closer look at the gearbox. So here we have the F550. Again, um, this is anodized carbon steel. And you can see that the gearbox shaft is pinned, so the mechanical seal will be installed. And then the shaft slides over and a pin is inserted that holds it all together. Here on the Visco power gearbox, you can see again stainless steel. And on the drive shaft, the pump shaft actually threads directly into this, which creates a, a much stronger connection instead of just having the pin being what holds um, the rotating pieces together. And then very similarly on the bearing flanges, you can see the, it's the same connection style. The 550 is pinned. So the, again, this here would be installed. Shaft slides over and the pin is inserted through that whole assembly. And again, the Visco power is threaded, has a threaded drive shaft, which the pump shaft threads directly into. And then you can see here we have this bayonet style design, which allows you to break the motor bolts loose and just back them out a little bit, rotate the entire pump assembly and slide that off the motor. 
So now I'll have a closer look at the individual pump tubes. Again, you can see the F550 tube connection is threaded in comparison to the Visco power being a tri-clamp. And again, the um, discharge is necked down from the pump tube. The G1.5 discharge fitting that would come with an inch and a half hose barb. And on the Visco power here, you can see that the diameter is the same as the pump tube. And this is a standard two inch tri-clamp. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the F550s would come in a 5021 or a 5426. And the Visco power we have standardized on the 53 millimeter tube. And then again, both of them are reverse thread here at the bottom for the stator housings. So now we'll take a look at the different mechanical seals we have. First, we'll take a look at the seal for the F550. You can see the components laid out here. We have the seal spring, the washer here to protect the O-ring in the rotating face, which this is the rotating face, the stationary face, the centering disc, and then this would all be assembled onto the gearbox. Um, if you want to see this in more detail, you can see the maintenance video linked below for the F550 pump. This would be assembled by installing the stationary face into the centering disc. And you can see the pin here. These notches need to align. Press that firmly. The O-ring will hold that in place. Install the centering disc over the gearbox shaft. Then your rotating face will be installed. The washer that will protect that O-ring from the spring here. And you can see that the rotating face is also notched for this little tag end on the spring here for alignment. And then you would take your shaft and align the pinholes up as best as you can. And then take your pin, get it started like so. And then that would be pressed in all the way with um, the flux tool. So now we'll take a look at the open mechanical seal for the Visco power line. This, uh, the open mechanical seal will be typically for industrial applications. Here we have the washer, spring, rotating face, stationary face, and then this will be assembled onto the gearbox. So first you'll take your rotating, or your stationary face, excuse me, press this into the motor connection piece until it sits down on the shoulder that's in there. And then this is the shaft for the open mechanical seal. We'll take a little bit better look at that here shortly. The washer is installed, cup towards the end of the shaft. The spring will be slid on top of that. And then the rotating face sits in there just like so. And then the pump shaft threads directly into the shaft of the gearbox. And again, if you would like to see this in further detail, you can see our Visco Power F570 um, video linked below. So here we have the closed mechanical seal for the Visco Power line. This seal is designed for sanitary applications, but can also be used in industrial applications because it does you, allow you to get up into higher pressures. So just like the open seal, we have our stationary face, which gets installed into the motor connection piece on the gearbox. We have our rotating face and our wave spring. The wave spring gets installed inside of the rotating face just need to be sure that it's tucked beneath the alignment pin, like so. And then you can see the O-ring here. And we have our closed seal shaft, the shoulder here, and the pin, which you can see um, the weld mark on the outside of the seal. Those align. Um, also, this shoulder here is what holds the seal in place. Um, by that O-ring that I mentioned. 
Just align the notch and the pin. Holds itself in place. And then you can thread that directly into the gearbox. All right, so here we have a side-by-side -side comparison of the three seal designs that we just went over. Here we have the F550. Both of the seal faces are ceramic. Um, these were available in FKM and FFKM. In the middle here, we have the open mechanical seal for the Visco power. Both of these seal faces are Silcar. Also, um, these are available in FKM and FFKM. And the closed seal here, Silcar versus Silcar, um, FKM and FFKM. The 550 seal will give you um, eight bar, roughly 116 PSI. The open mechanical seal for the Visco power will give you 10 bar or 145 PSI. And then as I mentioned, the closed seal can do higher pressures. This is 15 bar, roughly 217 PSI. So we'll compare the different shaft designs. Out front here, we have the F550, which as we saw is a pinned connection into the gearbox as well as the rotor. Here in the middle, we have the open seal shaft, which the shaft is installed here as we saw. And this threads directly into the gearbox shaft as well as into the rotor. And then here we have the closed seal design, which again has the notch for alignment and the shoulder here, which holds the seal in place and threads directly into the gearbox shaft as well as the rotor. Move down to the rotor side of the shafts. Again, as I mentioned, this was pinned into the rotor. These thread directly into the rotor. And then, um, as you might have noticed, the shaft diameter has been increased. The F550 shaft is seven millimeters in diameter, and we've beefed that up to 10 millimeters in diameter for the Visco power line. So here we have the different rotor designs for the F550 and the Visco power. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, here we have a 26 millimeter rotor. This is the diameter. And this is um, the 21 millimeter rotor for the F550. You can see, as I mentioned, these are pinned. And then for the Visco power, here we have an R52, which is noted on the bottom of the shaft here. This will give you 52 milliliters of displacement per revolution and is the equivalent performance to the 26 millimeter rotor. This is an R33. This is 33 milliliters of displacement per revolution and gives you the equivalent performance of the 21 millimeter rotor of the F550 series. And then here we have the R17, which is for low flow. And this will give you 17 milliliters of displacement per revolution. And as we mentioned earlier, the pump shaft threads directly into the end of the rotor. And you can see the shoulder here for the O-ring that presses right on and holds itself in place. And these would be matched with the stator um, for the correct geometry. And the stator materials that we have available are NBR white for um, food grade applications. We have PTFE and FKM. And then lastly, we have the stator housings. Here you can see we have the F550 housing. As we mentioned, the castle design earlier with the thin tabs. And then on the Visco power line, um, we've increased the thickness as well as reinforced at 360 degrees. And then you can see, as this is sitting on the bottom of a drum, you can see that there are four inlets for the F550 also for on the Visco power, but you can see that on the Visco power, they are much larger, which allows for a uh, product to flow into the housing much easier. And there we have a comparison of the F550 industrial to the F570 Visco power pumps. Thank you.